Flintlastic SA, the self-adhering SBS system for low-slope roofs. We're going to show you just how easy it is to apply Flintlastic SA for a quality residential job like this one. Because there are several Flintlastic colors to choose from, the contractor on this job is color coordinating with the landmark shingles on the adjacent roof. And if you need more detailed information, please review the Flintlastic SA installation manual. Safety should always be the first thing you think of on any application job. Follow OSHA safety guidelines and don't attempt to apply Flintlastic SA if you're not properly trained. Flintlastic SA should be applied on decks that have at least a one quarter inch slope. Plywood decks must be at least one half inch thick. OSB decks must be a minimum of seven sixteenths of an inch thick. Both deck types must conform to the standards of the APA Engineered Wood Association. It's important that the deck is smooth, clean, and dry. Openings and projections in the deck must be complete before you apply for Elastic SA. That goes for drain outlets too. They have to be positioned so that the water quickly moves off the roof. CertainTeed Teed recommends Flintlastic SA nail base for all self-adhering membrane roof installations. It's important not to leave the base sheet exposed, so plan ahead and make sure the cap sheet can be applied the same day. Begin at the low point of the roof, cut a manageable length, and use one-third or one-half width of the base sheet whichever best offsets the side laps of the next layer. The next layer should overlap the previous layer by three inches. Hand nail the base sheet. Use large head or button cap roofing nails. The minimum fastening pattern is every 18 inches on center in two staggered rows. When you come to side laps, it's every nine inches on center. The end lap should be approximately four inches. They're turned over the fascia and fastened. Offset end laps, a minimum of three feet. The Flintlastic SA nail base should cover up the roof a minimum of 18 inches. All metal must be washed and primed using Flint Prime SA or Flint Prime. Make sure the primer is dry before installing. Use a 9 and 3 quarter inch wide strip of Flintlastic SA mid-plot over the Flintlastic SA nail base. It should extend 6 inches onto the field of the roof and be flush to the roof edge. Remember to seal the edges of the strips with a bead of flint bond. The edge metal can be installed by applying a bead of trowel grade flint bond. You complete the installation of the sheet metal flashing by using cut strips of flint elastic mid ply at all flashing details. The flint elastic SA system includes two types of cap sheets. Standard and FR. The following instructions apply to both types of cap sheets. Start by cleaning off the nail base. Then, at the low point, roll out the first cap sheet with the selvage edge release strip at the high side of the roof. It should offset side laps from the underlying membrane a minimum of 18 inches. Lift and fold back the lower half of the membrane. Remove the split release film and firmly press it into place. Do the same with the other half. Overlap the side laps four inches. The end lap should be six inches. Roll the entire surface of the membrane, working outward from the center of the sheet. As the next lengths are installed, remove the salvage edge release strips just before overlapping to keep the adhesive areas clean. 
Now before adhering end laps, trim the underlying sheet. The diagonal cut should measure five and a half inches long from the end of the roll to the outside edge. The width of the trim should be equal to the four inch side lap specified for the cap sheet. Apply a uniform one eighth to one quarter inch flint bond on the entire width of each six inch end lap. Trim corners should be completely covered by the application of the next courses. At all vertical and other flashing points, apply flint bond wherever there is an overlap onto mineral surfacing. Once the membrane has had a chance to bond, check all laps and joints. If any area can be lifted, use a handheld hot air welding tool and seam roller. You can use flint bond to seal. The final step in this project is a watertight transition between the low slope flinlastic membrane system and the sloped roof. The SA cap should cover up the roof a minimum of 18 inches. A 14 inch piece of SA cap is used in the transition area. This flashing strip should run up the slope roof a minimum of 8 inches and onto the low slope area a minimum of six inches. It's set in a bed of flint bond trowel grade adhesive. The slope roof is now ready to receive shingles. The bottom edge of the first shingle course should be positioned approximately one inch above the low slope deck. Be sure to follow guidelines for appropriate underlayment such as Certainty Winter Guard or Roofer Select. Underlayment should cover four inches of the eight inches of flashing strip on the slope portion of the roof. And that's just how easy it is to apply Flint Elastic SA for a quality residential job like this one. And remember, if you need more detailed information, please consult the Flint Elastic SA installation manual. The manual is also available on the web at www.certainty.com.